All right, guys, welcome back. Now it's time for entertainment news. First up, Bonner Boy nominated for Brit Awards. Now, Nigerian superstar Bonner Boy has been nominated in the Best International Male Solo Artist category at the 2020 Brit Awards. Now, the African Giant is nominated alongside Americans Bruce Springsteen, Dermot Kennedy, Tyler the Creator, and Post Malone. Now, talking about awards, Bonner Boy won the highest number of awards at the just concluded Sound City MVP Awards, winning three categories that song of the year for killing them featuring Zlatan um, best male MVP and African artist of the year which he won for the second success successive time now other winners on the night include Joe boy winning best pop fireboy DML winning listeners choice and Rema winning best new MVP David O won digital artist of the year while Tenny won best female MVP. Congratulations mm. to all this beautiful talent, amazing talent right there. Wait, is there, and is there, there's no stopping Bonaboy, have you anytime soon? Uh, of course not. And I'm not even surprised. I'm not even <laughs> surprised about the awards. I mean, we have been saying it's Bonaboy's year. So let's just say it's Bonaboy's it, decade. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, it's Bonaboy's three years or something. Like, what? I'm but not you know surprised about it. Yeah. If I say this now, you come for mm. me and say whatever. But yeah, the honest truth, Bona. no, the honest truth is, we had a Davido year, we had a whiskey year. Yeah. But then someone has like three years. Yes. It's because yeah. he's been doing. He's just been consistent. He's been doing the same thing for the longest, but people didn't notice him. But when it's your time, it's your time. That's yeah, what I'm trying to say. So mm -hmm. nobody can stop you. Nobody. There are so many people that are like, oh, Bernard Boy is arrogant. There are so many controversies. There's this thing. But he's still winning because it is his time. So I keep also, pushing, I also keep grinding. I feel like, I think our taste in music generally as Nigerians have has shifted hmm. because even as you yeah. no i think so because <laughs> joe boy um fire boy and rema also won awards tenny also won awards yeah. if you listen to their type of music it's different it from is the very bass, different bass, bass, from big bass 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 they won though yeah, mm -hmm. so you know, the bass boys, we still listen. we have a whole lot of sounds in Nigeria, and of course, a massive fan base. People mm -hmm. can listen to this one, listen to this one, listen to both, even at the same time. Mm -hmm. Massive congratulations to Bonner Boy for the 2020 um, Brit Awards nomination, alongside Tyler, cool. the creator, hmm. or oh, Post Malone. Who huh. oh, will win this particular category? I don't know. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, and yeah. shout out to Rema, Fire Boy, and Joe Boy on the same night, winning three different I feel like they categories. just wanted to share it. Yeah. 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 Let's not look for trouble. Let's I love give it, it to I all love of them. the way they are growing together. And there's, uh, at least so far, so good. There's been no beef before, or rivalry. Before Bad yeah. people went there and say, <laughs> Rema, have you yeah. seen Fireboy's tweet? That tweet is sounding like it's referring to you. No, yes. people that's how you should start. Them. No, but they're, they're handling it very maturely. They're, mm. they're supporting each other, and that's the most important thing. Definitely. I feel like mm. the next 10 years or five years in the music industry is going to be even better than yeah. before. Yeah. And the Absolutely. sound is going to be yeah. even more international than before. Than before yeah. I really feel so. Amen. Right. Absolutely. Amen. Moving on to the next story <laughs> Dakori Egbuso Akode responds to divorce rumors with anniversary post. Yes, Nigerian actress Dakori Egbuso Akode has come out to debunk um, divorce rumors, okay. trailing her 10 years marriage. Dakori took to her Instagram page to post a video of her kids and husband with a caption that looks like a subliminal response to a marriage crisis. She captioned the video, best support system, happy 10th anniversary babe at underscore O.Dolu. Sadly, once they realize 18 isn't working, they start telling lies, hashtag Sam35, hashtag shame to bad people. This is coming after rumors began circulating that all is not well with her marriage to Olumide Akonde and the billionaire son does not have enough money to throw around. Reports also claim that Dakori is under pressure to have a son in the 10-year-old marriage, which has already produced two daughters. So I like what she did with this anniversary post by just letting everybody know that. Everything is Shame okay. to you people. <laughs> yeah. We are still cool, whatever is and going it, around. In all honesty, I feel like um, this thing comes from the insiders. Like, be careful who you vent to because uh, you know, someone who you're venting to could also be a running mouth. Sure. So maybe they actually, there's no marriage or relationship without issues. So it's okay for them to be having issues. Mm -hmm. But then when people, when you tell someone and then Person that blows it out of proportion. You know, saying, yeah. oh, they're even going to break up. They are, they, 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 they. Nah, come on. This is like the best thing. Like, this is the best way to I shut actually, them up and just silence them. Like, yeah. we're still together. We're going strong. We would always have ups and downs, but we are still good. There I is completely no agree coming. with you because I actually feel like Nigerian media industry or the Nigerian media industry mm -hmm. is gradually changing where we now have paparazzi, where people are now sourcing for gist. You know how it is in Hollywood that they even pay you for gist? I won't be surprised mm -hmm. if they have started doing that over yeah, here because nowadays people want to hear 
bad gist, especially <laughs> not even good. You don't want to hear bad gist. So it's like, oh, what's happening? Give us tea, uh, you know. And I'm happy that Dakore over the years has been very, very private about yeah, her family absolutely. and her relationship. And I'm happy that she has come out to clear the air. I was, and, I was shocked yeah. to see this post ten years. Honestly, uh, already. Uh, and you know, there was a time when she was really, really acting, and then she went quiet. Mm. She took focused care of her marriage. family, focused on mm -hmm. growing, like, grooming her children. And, back and then came bang. back with a bang. I'm with like, bang. please, show me who else has done this. That, yeah. you know, who has taken a break brand, and, you know, and changed, changed her everything. Wow. So, please, Abe, Gibu can do better. We don't want bad news. 2020 is positive things. Mm, Abe, speaking. Uh, happy married life, Jari. Abe, happy anniversary. Who am I saying happy married life? Are you planning on getting married? Very soon. Receive it. All right, so moving on to no, no. more news. <laughs> Ignore these guys for a minute. All right, YQ comes for Nigerian media for omitting Da Green from the decades list. Nigerian mm. singer YQ has come out to criticize the Nigerian media for not including Da Green as one of the best artists in the last decade. In a video which was circulating online, YQ, who was best friends with the late rapper, stated that he does not see any reason why Da Green should not be on the list because he was one of the best artists in 2000. And even when he passed away in 2010, his songs were still everywhere. You know what? Take a look at this clip. What's up, guys? Um, I'm not trying to start any drama. I'm just trying to say I saw at least uh, a compilation of 50 best artists or greatest artists of the decade, whatever, and the Green's name is not there. In 2009, it was popping. In 2010, it passed on, but his name is still there. Every year, he's been celebrated. You know, it's, it can't. They didn't forget him, but I don't. I don't see no reason why you make a list that kind of list and it's not there. I'm not saying anybody that's there don't deserve to be there. I respect everybody when they're out. When I'm out partying, when they play anybody's songs, I I dance to it. I, I'm, I vibe to it because that's part of the movement, and there has to be that respect. You have to respect that legacy, protect the legacy. I don't know what you want to say. Just like saying, you know, compiling a list of greatest rappers of all time, and Tupac and Biggie are not there because they're they're no more. No, come on, let's try. Okay, if you want to argue, just explain the reason why you think that Green is not supposed to be there. I'm not trying to start a drama. I'm not. I'm just, you know, trying to protect the the legacy, and that's what I have to do. I know I'm doing the right thing, and if you feel that this post, you know, might offend you in any way. All right, guys, in case you do not know, the late Da Green died after complications from a ghastly car crash in 2010 after emerging as the hottest and best indigenous rapper of that time. Whew, I mean, what do we think about this claim that, or this <coughs> statement that YQ has made? So when we say decade, the decade is 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. So I see, um, yes, Da Green changed was a game changer. Yes, it, it was a game changer. Yes, the likes of Lord Ajasa were there before the likes of Da Green came. But Da Green gave that hip hop feel that birthed the likes of them, Olamide and the rest. Yes, mm. we can't take that out. Mm -hmm. But when you say decade list, mm. 10 years, mm -hmm. Da Green, according to Waiki, Waiki even said it himself, yes, 20, 2009, Da Green was everywhere. Um, 2010, even after his death, it was everywhere. But other people came after Da Green, and that was like the end. Of that Da Green era, yes, we would definitely we definitely appreciate um, Da Green, but for a decade list, decade list is ten years, and this particular list has caused a whole lot of co um, co controversy, um, controversies. <laughs> controversies. Myself and Arike had our own as regards ten years. Why Bonaboy is not even in the list of one to ten? I was about to say yes, that. Yes, why list of one to ten? Yes, it's not everybody. When you say a decade, it's ten years. The list you can even do eight years. Mm. But for Da Green to be in that list, no. I, I was do going not, to mention that some of the people YQ. on that decade list were not exactly 10 years in the business. That's, were, that's what I said, the that's list. That's why I was like, the list okay, so eight. you're right about the eight-year thing. But don't you feel like if he really was a Change. game changer, if he's the one that opened the, uh, paved the way for streets to become the new cool, then maybe he should have gotten some sort of recognition. Because if we're being really honest with ourselves, prior to why he coming out to make this statement, how many times do we talk about Da Green? Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I, a, I, I, I still do not agree. He, Ten years so is a whole is, lot of numbers. I, I, I think I see your point. I see YQ's point. However, as OJ said, it is 10 years. I'm a crazy Dagger fan, like, to the roots. But the, what it is, is 
it's 10 years. We appreciate him. We love him. We miss him. But I don't think that it would be in a decade. If we're going to do a post for him separately, absolutely. Why not if you're talking about people, game changers, game, changer for game rap, changers for rap, rap in, in the, the last 10 years and the, of Come the on, decade or something, then he'll be there. But when you say artist of the year, I artist mean, of the artist of the decade, I don't think that it fits that into it. If we were to be a game changer, yeah. okay, game changer category for, for a decade, then you can question that list. But right. I mean, for this All one, right. no, I don't okay. think so. Okay. All right, yes, we're done with the entertainment news.